This chocolate Easter bunt cake is not your usual Easter nest cake because it's coated in crushed up pretzels which give it a really lovely sweet and salty flavour. So we're going to start by making our cake batter. It's a really easy method, so we're going to combine our dry ingredients. So the first ingredient is plain flour. We're going to add some cocoa powder for that lovely intense chocolatey flavour. We're using two kinds of sugars, caster sugar to help with structure, and we're using soft light brown sugar for its lovely caramelly flavour. And then our final dry ingredient is two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda, which is going to give our cake its rise. I'm going to mix all of these ingredients together. My dry ingredients are beautifully combined, so I'm going to set that to one side and start combining my wet ingredients. So into a separate bowl, adding some buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can make your own by using milk with one tablespoon of lemon juice added or using natural yogurt watered down with a little bit of milk. We're going to add to that some cooled coffee. In this cake, it really enhances that chocolatey flavour. Then we're going to add two eggs. And then the final thing is some melted butter. I'm going to whisk together all those ingredients. And now we're ready to combine the two. So you want to take your dry ingredients and then start to pour in your wet ingredients. So I'll go with about a third to start with. Then we'll add the next bit. The last bit. You see a really rich chocolate batter start to form. So that mixture is lovely and smooth now. You can see it runs off the whisk, so it's ready to go into the bunt tin. I've greased my bunt tin with a bit of butter, which is going to stop the cake from sticking as it bakes in the oven. So I'm now going to pour my cake mixture into the tin. Let's get it in a nice even layer. It should flow round the sides. And then use a spatula to get every last bit of that mix. Spread out that mixture so it's even all the way around. And now this cake is going to go into my preheated oven for 50 to 55 minutes. When the cake is ready, get it out of the oven and leave it to cool for about five minutes so it's not boiling hot. Then turn out straight away so that the sugar doesn't harden and it gets stuck in your tin. So I've made a ganache by melting some butter and chocolates together and then stirring in some cream. Click the link below for the full recipe. And I'm going to spread my ganache over the top of the cake. So just take a spoonful and just start to spread it over. It doesn't need to be too neat because we're going to be covering the outside with the crushed up pretzels. You just want a nice coating so that they'll all stick on. I'm happy with how the ganache is looking, so now we're going to cover it in crushed up pretzels. I think these look a lot like little twigs and they have a really lovely flavour which works so well with the chocolate. So take a few and crush them in your hands, sprinkling them over that ganache. And then we're just going to finish off the cake by filling the centre of the nest with chocolate eggs. And then when you cut into the cake, you'll notice they all pull out. And there's the last few. So that is my chocolate Easter bunt cake covered in crushed up pretzels. So sweet and salty and very Moorish. You won't be able to just have one slice. Don't forget to subscribe for loads more great recipes.